What's going on guys? T-Mart here and today I'm bringing you guys our episode of Call of Duty Ghost Killer Class Setup. This is a series where we focus on weapons and class setups that are a little bit more unique in Call of Duty Ghost. You know, they're less common, you don't see them every day, but they're still extremely, extremely effective and they're a lot of fun to use. So, in today's video, we're going to be talking about my shoddy SMG, baby. This thing is absolutely nuts at close range. It kills people so quickly, you rarely ever lose gunfights, and it just, it, it melts through people. Like, it, it feels like as soon as you look at somebody, they're dead. That's how quick this thing kills at close range, which is why I call it my shoddy SMG. Now, because of that, you know, obviously, this class isn't really good for the larger maps. You know, medium to long range engagements, not ideal for this weapon, but up close, it is an absolute monster, I know, even into a little bit of a medium range. So, uh, what am I talking about? Well, the base kind of idea of this class is situated around the Vepper SMG with rapid fire on it. The Vepper is literally like the best gun in the game to put rapid fire on because I mean, you know, obviously rapid fire is going to help it out, but then rapid fire has negative effects, but those are kind of offset by the Vepper's strong suit. So it, it, like literally it's the ultimate combination. Why is this? Well, first of all, the Vepper has extremely good iron sights, some of the best in the game. You know, you, they don't really obstruct any of your field of view. You never really, you know, lose enemies when it's kicking up when you're shooting it and things like that. So that's obviously very important. You know, you, you want good iron sights on a weapon that you're running uh, rapid fire on because rapid fire is going to make it kick more. So, you know, if it's already bad by itself, it's going to get worse with rapid fire which is not the case as well as on top of that because the Vepper's iron sights are so good there's no reason to waste an attachment on an optic you know you don't need a red dot sight you don't need an ACOG you can leave that open for something else that's going to help your gun out more so that's pretty important now a uh, next up the next thing that makes this a good combination is the fact that the Vector already has a relatively high rate of fire. Like, it's not the most in the SMG category, but it's definitely a lot. And when you add rapid fire on top of that, it makes it absolutely insane. <laughs> like I said, when you're at close range, you pretty much look at people and they die because you're putting so many bullets down range so quickly, there's literally nothing they can do. So, uh, that's obviously a good thing. Uh, next up, the Vepper does do quite a bit of damage. You know, it's not the most in the SMG category, but it's definitely not the least either. Like, it's a pretty strong weapon, especially Especially again at those close ranges so not only are you putting a ton of bullets down range extremely quickly you're putting a ton of powerful bullets down range extremely quickly so again that aids in the fact that this thing is pretty much like a shotgun at close range but then can also hold it down for medium range as well now a uh, next up the next reason why this combination is so good is probably the most important one and that's the fact that the Vepers recoil is extremely easy to control it's probably the lowest out of all the SMGs I'd say the Vepper and the Vector are really close I think the Vepper might beat it out just by a little bit though because it it's pretty much straight up and down. There's a little bit of side to side movement, but really not that much. And if it starts to get out of hand, all you have to do is just let off the trigger for, you know, a quarter of a second and then go back to firing and you're good to go. Like this thing is extremely, extremely accurate. You know, that's obviously important because rapid fire is going to make that go up a little bit. You know, when you're shooting fast, you're going to have more kick, but it's really not that bad even with rapid fire on it. And most weapons with rapid fire, you want to run a grip on. But uh, with the Vepper, I don't really see the reason to, you know, need that. So uh, that's a pretty good thing. And then finally, the last thing, which is kind of like the cherry on top, is the fact that the Vepper has the biggest magazine size for an SMG in the game. So, you know, obviously with rapid fire, you're putting a lot of rounds down range. You want that big magazine so you don't run out of ammo. And the Vepper does a good job of helping you out with that. So, yeah, like I said, I mean, like, literally... It gets all the positives from rapid fire, but then it also kind of like combats all the negatives of rapid fire just by, you know, being itself. So the Vepper and rapid fire are literally the perfect combo. They're a match made in heaven. They, uh, they're perfect. So I want you guys to try them out. So uh, my exact class that I was using for the most part that I was having the most success with was, uh, first of all, obviously the Vepper. Then we also put rapid fire on it and then a muzzle brake. The range of the Vepper is probably its biggest downfall. So the muzzle brake helps out with that. It extends its three shot kill range and it really turns it into a killing machine from short to medium range. Now, uh, next up in terms of perks, obviously these are more of your play style, but what I was really liking is kind of like a, a Speedy Gonzalez perk set, like running all over the place, getting in people's faces, taking them out. So I had ready up, sleight of hand, on the go, steady aim, quick draw, and then marathon or fully loaded, depending on what you want, because sometimes you can run out of ammo pretty quickly. So, uh, yeah, there you guys have it. That is the Vepper kind of like SMG shotgun class setup. This thing is absolutely nuts. It absolutely tears through people at close range. You know, maps like Strike Zone are, are just really, really fun with this thing. So make sure you guys try it out. Remember, try to stick to those close to medium range engagements. Long range, you're kind of screwed with this thing. It's kind of a specialty weapon in that regard. But it's a lot of fun to use. It's really refreshing to, you know, kind of run around and, and have that advantage over everybody uh, rather than sitting back with an AR 
aiming down sights. So, anyway, let me know what you guys think about this class. Thank you guys so much for watching. Get a bunch of great videos coming soon. Check out one of the other two videos you haven't seen yet. Peace out, guys.